All right, so today in October Effects, we're gonna look at making something you've probably never made in this way before. We're gonna use the mosaic to create 16-bit graphics, kind of like these lovely health bars here. And uh, this is Brock and I playing video games on the front lawn. Maybe you play video games totally different than we do, but uh, this is about what we do when we drink and uh, play some video games. So I'm gonna show you a quick way to do that or to convert your current lovely graphics into 16-bit retro graphics. So, first thing we need to do is make a new composition. So in After Effects, you'll see we're working with the HDTV 1080 24 frames a second preset. Now that is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels, giving it an aspect ratio of 16 pixels by nine pixels. This number is going to be important later, but just keep in your mind that I am using an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. That's 16 wide by 9 high. Commit that to memory. Everything else is stupid. We have this composition. Wonderful. Good for us. Let us fill it with things that we would like to then, I don't know, make into 16-bit things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a health bar because, you know, like all young white kids, I wanted to learn Kung Fu to be like Street Fighter and I was always distressed that I got KO'd way too early. So I'm going to type out my name, Evan Abrams. That's a fine, fine name for a Street Fighter character. Nope, no it's not. It's a stupid name. Now I'm going to create a new rectangle and you can do that by making a new shape layer or, you know, come up here and making that rectangle however you like. So this one's gonna have a stroke around the outside that is white, perfect. And I'm gonna go into its properties, go here to the rectangle, and I'm gonna just scale this down. So I'm thinking it should be about 500 by, oh, I don't know, this should be big enough. I don't really have a lot of health to be taken away, so this will be a quality health bar size. Good, let's give it a stroke of 10. Let's do that. Perfect, so this will be the outside of the bar. Perfect, I'm gonna just duplicate that. I'm gonna call this uh, bar outside. That's good, and this will be the bar fill, so it doesn't need a stroke, get rid of that, okay. What it does need is a fill. Let's give it a gradient fill, perfect. Let's set the gradient to be around uh, here to here. I'm not sure if you can tell what I'm doing, but this line represents the gradient from one extreme to the other. And that is going to be running from red, meaning I am thoroughly in the danger zone. Very saturated colors, good, perfect. And on the other end, I'm gonna say yellow. Yellow is not in the danger zone. I am in no dangers of that zone. Okay, whatever. Uh, give it a hue of maybe 50. Oh, 50, 40, yeah, boom. So just like that, it's like fire. Okay, so this is health. So we got the bar, we got the health. Good, good, good. Okay, now let's put the health below the bar because that's how that works. Okay, good. Um, the bar outside, we're going to give it a bevel alpha a little bit, just a little bit, you know. Four, five, yep, five pixels. Cool, cool, I'm feeling that, I'm feeling it. And now the health bar, we would like to do a couple things. We'd like it to get bigger and then shrink a little bit. So I'm just gonna hit uh, UU here and I'm gonna start by keyframing the size. And I'm also gonna need to alter this rectangle. Ugh, get back here, rectangle, rectangle path, size and position. So I'm gonna move ahead a bit to this point where the size and position make it full health, cool. Now the size, however, I would like to shrink this down to zero, making it entirely flat, and its position at negative 250, putting it right there. So it comes up like this, nice and full, perfectly good. Okay, so boop, kind of like that, cool. And then we're gonna move ahead a little bit in time and then I'm gonna set some keyframes here, and then I'm just gonna move ahead and I'm gonna set this down to like 100. No, that's a bit, that's too big of a hit. Let's do 400, good. And then I just need to adjust this to be negative 50, so it's shrinking, so it goes burnt like this. I'm gonna go ahead a bit more, set some more keyframes, move ahead a bit more, and then I'm gonna set this down to like 200. 
you know, things are not good, I'm clearly getting my ass beat, you know, it happens, it happens to everybody, people, so you just, you know, sometimes you're not, not the best guy on the day, and you just gotta take those, take those lumps, gotta take those lumps, those are just lumps, alright, so, minus 150 I think is good for there, I think, yeah, that seems about right, and, uh, that's where we'll leave it, so, we're just having it do those animations, Okay, cool. So now I'm going to easy ease these and then I'm going to take these and I'm going to stretch them so that it goes, you know, harshly in against my favor. So this is harshly. I'm just pulling the handles on these graphs to alter how they look and this one can be a little bit smoother. So, whoop. So I'll get some health. Then four seconds. I get a ding, and then I get another ding. So, good, perfect, perfectly nice. Getting some dings. We'll just collapse these. Cool, cool. Uh, this thing here, I'd like to have a bevel alpha on it as well. Much similar to the bevel alpha that we've applied to the other things. Okay, now I'm gonna move this, uh, holding down the command button, holding down the command button as I do to snap it to things. Cool. So, I've got this wonderful health bar. I'm just gonna grab all of these things, move them up here into the corner, like so. Good, good, excellent. So, health bar, me, perfect. Let's make this 16-bit already. Let's stop beating around the bush. So, create new adjustment layer. Notice we've made nothing out of pixels. It's all vectors so far. That means it's gonna be perfect no matter how I scale it. Now let's pixelate that bitch. I'm gonna put a mosaic on here. And the mosaic, as you probably already know, creates rectangles. And it has created 10 horizontal blocks by 10 horizontal blocks. And then if there is color or information in any of those blocks, it takes an average of what's inside the block and then propagates it as the color for the entire block. Now I said before that we have a 16 horizontal by nine ratio. Meaning, if I want it to produce squares, there needs to be a 16 by nine ratio in the horizontal to vertical blocks. That's all well and good, but I am terrible at math. So, I will be producing a slider control on here. Cool, cool, there's the slider control. And this slider control is going to be linked to these, or these will be linked to it. So hold down Alt, click on each of these stopwatches. Uh, Alt Option is what the key's called on Macs. It's called something else on PCs, you figure it out. So I'm going to pick whip from the horizontal blocks to the slider, and I'm going to pick whip from the vertical blocks to the slider. Now what that means is, when I call up those expressions here, that as the slider is, say, one, there's gonna be one horizontal block and one vertical block. But I want there to be 16, so I times horizontal blocks by 16. Uh, that is the multiplication sign, it's the asterisk, that's what that means in math. So times nine for this one. So if the slider is one, horizontal blocks is 16, and vertical blocks is nine. If the slider is 16, this is what we get, is a wonderfully pixelated thing. Cool, well done, we are so good. Click on sharp colors, just to make this a lot sharper and uh, look a bit better. So you can get some pretty bizarre results, and in those instances, I would recommend that you put up sort of the fidelity of this thing, uh, just so that it's more conducive to displaying what you've put out there. But overall, this achieves the effect of making things 16-bit quite nicely, and you really just need to tailor your art to match. So that is about it. Now something else I want to show you is there were those times when I got a pretty nasty ding, so what I'll do there is I'm going to keyframe the slider control so that once I'm getting that ding, the slider control is going down to like eight. So it's getting blah, more pixelated uh, when that happens. And then uh, as it resolves, it'll put us back up to 16. So what that looks like is like, blah, like it's getting, it's getting wonky. And that's a cool thing that you can do with this. So if we put anything below that adjustment layer, let's say I put in a solid, make it a black solid, whatever, and I put that below that layer, and then I go apply like a ramp to it, like a gradient ramp. Uh, whatever I put on this thing below it is going to be uh, sort of bound by the adjustment layer above it. So you can see that it is pixelating even this gradient, right? 
So not pixelated, pixelated, not pixelated, pixelated. See how that works? So any backgrounds or anything you have below this adjustment layer are gonna get pixelated. If I have footage or something below, no matter what it is, it's gonna get pixelated. So if you want to put your health bar or whatever you've made above something else, you're really gonna to need to pre-compose it. So select everything, including the adjustment layer, and then go layer, pre-compose, or use the shortcut, and then you've pre-composed it, so everything in there is now safe and secure and will not affect any layers that we put below it. So you could put any kind of thing below it. We put that solid back out here. It could have, I don't know, all sorts of fractal noise or any kind of noise or whatever. But this layer will not be affected by the adjustment layer that we put in here. The, these are totally on their own and disconnected because this safely nested in here. But that is the gist of how you can make anything you animate into a wonderful 16-bit mosaic using the simple mosaic feature. One thing that's great about the mosaic feature, it is not very RAM intensive. And the other thing I like is that it allows me to draw in my vector style and then also be able to quickly transpose that into a pixelated style as is required. So I suppose that's about it. Go enjoy making uh, Battletoads versus you and your friends or whatever you're doing or go Hadoken someone, I don't really know. If these 16-bit references are doing something for you, subscribe to the channel or don't. I don't make them all the time. Anyway, I'm Evan Abrams. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy learning something every week about visual effects or motion graphics or just after effects or you just want to hear the sound of my voice, then subscribe to this channel and you can get that once a week. Sometimes more than once a week. Sometimes I do vlogs too, but mostly this channel is about after effects, visual effects, and motion graphics. So subscribe to the channel and I will see you next week. If you have questions about the tutorials, leave them in the comments. And if you want to download project files or you want to download some other cool things to use in your projects, then uh, go over to evanabrams.com and check that out. And of course, hit me up on Twitter at EC Abrams and get involved on the Facebook page because I post cool stuff that you might think is cool on there and we have discussions and I have a Google Plus page now that's weird if you want to hang out we might do one of those in November so anyway I'm Evan Abrams thank you so much for watching subscribe to the channel and I'll see you around the internet